Today, I will discuss to you about uh, keeping safe while doing street photography in the streets. As they say, you're not yet a street photographer if you're not been yelled yet for taking photos of strangers in the street. True, I had a man who stopped and screamed at me for taking his photo. I felt scared and threatened then. I thought I would be punched in the face. Luckily, just deleting his picture was all it takes to get him away. In another instance, I was in downtown Montreal City. A mother told me not to take the picture of her kid or she will call a cop. My intent in writing this article is not to scare you guys, but to remind you that being cautious is better than to lament later on. As what like your doctor always tells you, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Especially after, after the tragic event on September 11, things have changed drastically. People became suspicious, distrustful, and cautious of strangers. Street photography is fun and exciting. Don't ruin your day by not being prepared for any circumstances that might come along in your way. I don't advise you guys to bring a weapon when you go out in the streets. No, what you need is just a little common sense. Here are my tips that will help you out of trouble when you're doing street photography. 1. Dress appropriately. Avoid being suspected as a pervert pedophile, criminal, or terrorist. Dress decently and appropriately like the way most people do. Carry light things only. You don't need tons of equipment like big lenses, tripod, or backpack. Try to become invisible as much as possible. 2. Make some business cards with your name and title of photographer. Put some link to Google, Flickr, or other website on your business cards to make it professionally looking and give them when people ask you what you are doing. Maybe have a sample photo book with you. 3. Know the laws of the place you are covering. The first thing to bear in mind is that uh, the laws and customs in various countries are different from each other. Not all places are friendly with the street photographers. Make some research. For example, in Montreal City where I live, it is prohibited to take pictures of children. Likewise, here people have the right to complain if they incur damages brought about by the picture you have taken. Four. Watch for people you are photographing. Avoid taking pictures of mean-looking guys and drug addicts. They may be just itching to lash out at somebody. So be attentive and try to read the energy and body language. 5. Always smile, respect people, and don't argue. Street photography is not illegal. You are not doing anything wrong. But when people stop you from having their picture taken, stop. It's not worth arguing. Just don't shoot, smile, and live. Always be respectful of your subject. Number six, photograph with a friend. If you are not yet, if you are not yet confident with your craft, bring along a friend with you. This will embolden yourself since you have a bodyguard. You may also use your friend as a decoy if he or she is the one a ship he or she is the one you are shooting, but it's another way. Number seven, pretend you, that you are taking video and not photos. Most people don't want to be photographed. One way of avoiding eye contact with the strangers is to pr pretend that you are taking videos and not photos. Aim your camera to some other subject or background and when you capture that person, 
keep the camera still like you are still capturing what is behind him. 8. Ask permission when doing street portraits. There is thrill and excitement in doing street portraits. However, people are annoyed when you directly pointed your camera to their face. There is no harm in asking permission first. Give them compliments as everyone enjoys a compliment. I consider street portrait or portraiture as a chunk of street photography that it is done in public and not post or directed. Be confident. This is the key to being unnoticed. Make yourself look confident even you don't feel one so that people will ignore you. If you look nervous, scared, and tentative, people will get noticed to you easily. They will think that you're doing something wrong. But if you're doing right, they won't bother you. Be attentive when on the streets or public places. Last but not least, be extremely cautious when on the street. Observe the rules of the road. Be mindful of snatchers, holdoffers, and other criminals. With your excitement to shoot that decisive moment, you might forget that it's not time to cross the street yet or you're jaywalking already. And those sophisticated cameras are very tempting to criminals avoid dubious places. Hopefully, you find this uh, video helpful. As I said at the outset, it is not my intention to set fear, but to remind you guys that there is no photo that is worthier than your health and safety. Make sure you are extra cautious and use common sense so that you will not meet any dangerous situation, any dangerous situation while shooting. Okay? Uh, here are some of my street photographs for your pleasurable enjoyment. See you next time. Bye-bye.